Hey guys, back again. Welcome to the channel if you haven't been before. Today I'm going to try and upgrade the front end of my Trek Speed concept. What I'm going to try to do is because I'm never comfortable on this bike with the front end. The rest of it's absolutely great, but with the front end, with these mono, they're called mono bars, um, because I like a narrow aero position these bars tilt out so if you can see I'm down on the bars like that but then my arms are coming outwards putting stress all the way down whatever these muscles are called and it, it's a bit uncomfortable really so what I'm going to try and do is with a bit of in ingenuity and engineering is swap all of this out just for this I'm going to try and because the lotus position is probably the most aero you can be I'm going to try and attach this somehow there get rid of this mono aero bar part have this here so that my position is a lot more up lotus like like this uh, and try and have the aero bars close in so again I'm not out like this I'm in close and down on my bars out of the, the wind like this so somehow I've got to take all this apart attach this somehow I'm going to try and take you through it uh, I've got some ideas of how to do it but I'm not 100% sure yet place that in there with this narrow carbon I think it's a uh, I can't remember the name of it now, but um, carbon rest pad basically, uh, and have it like this so I'm more in the lotus position. So come along and let's do this. So I've just done the intro to the video and I kept on saying lotus, and Lois says, What's a lotus? And I was like, Well, it's, it's the bug that does that. And she's like, No, it's the praying mantis. It's called the praying mantis position. And I was like, yeah, you're absolutely right. So, pray mantis, not lotus. Now, apparently, you can get these mono aero bars with a little clip here to add in your own stems, but after looking on the internet for ages and I've never felt well I've seen them but I've never saw one to buy so that isn't an option right as you can see that's the front end disassembled somehow I have to get this from there so I've got to get this thing which holds this on to stay on there so that I can slot this in like so and attach it there also I'm going to have to use this bit on here somehow to port the watch shop armrest on so it will just hold it underneath on this pad here somehow so I think it's time to make some brackets so the idea that I've had is if you imagine this is the front part of the bike I don't know if you've if you can tell but this is where the mono bar sits on top of and goes out I'm going to drill two holes here and here this is what holds the aero bar in place and hopefully we can secure that onto there like that
Right guys, this is where we're at today. I put this cable in for the front ring uh, so that we can have it on the front ring and pedal so we can adjust it. With the armrest, come around here. This is what I'm going to rest the armrest on. If you look inside here, it's got a little raise there so I'm going to have to grind out this lip so that it sits flush so that the armrest is level. I'm not able to put this cable in yet because you have to take, with the Trek Speed concept, for some reason you've got to take off the whole front end to change the cables, which is a bit of a nightmare, which I didn't know, but hey, this is one of those things about having a time trial bike. And all the cables were uh, integrated into the bike, so you have to pay a penalty somewhere and it's maintenance. So, this cable isn't in, but I'm going to adjust this as I've just said, then I'm going to attach all this back together because it's a little bit loose at the moment, try out my position and if it feels comfortable, if these need adjusting forwards or backwards, if um, I need to cut maybe some uh, of the tube off so that my hands are over the gears so when you need to change gears you're not having to change position basically uh, and just feel where I need to be do a lot of adjustments and then we can take it from there. Right, I've ground that bit off now and hopefully you can see it's sat a lot more square for the pad to sit on top of it. So I'll just get the pad and show you how it's going to look. Right, I haven't screwed the pad on yet but as you can see it's a lot more level and it should be a lot more comfortable than it was. Right, quick update for you. I've tightened everything down, everything's secure so I think it might be time to take it down the road to see how the position is. I'm thinking this uh, armrest will probably have to come backwards. Uh, I think the bars might have to be cut down a touch, but let's take it out and see. So it turns out I got very, very lucky. When I took it down the road, I got in the position and the bars were perfect. The only thing that needed to go backwards was the armrest, arm pads. Uh, so all I'm going to do is take it from the place where it was originally with the original holes and scoot it back a bit so it's level with the the back of the aero bars I've marked the holes just need to drill two now to get it in line with the screw holes if you want to come around here have a look in line with these two screw holes and then uh, and then that's the whole setup done and ready to go so the next bit Screw these, attach it, and then we'll take it down the road and see how it looks. Right, all screwed in. I'll put the pad on and then I'll take it out for a spin. I'll give you a quick tour around it now. Hopefully you can see all the, the gubbins in there and how it's all... All the um, wires are still integrated, so no aero loss there, and I think it's just going to be so much more comfortable. So let's take it out. Well guys, that's a thousand more times comfortable. I'm so pleased with it. Uh, hopefully you liked it as well. So if you did, give us a big thumbs up. Any comments, leave them down below. Any questions, anything like that. I'll do my best to reply and help you out. Thanks for watching.